Well guys, I think I finally put together a summer pattern. So recently I've been uh, going past the railroad tracks right around where the Steve Ray Vaughn statue is and the old power plant and there's a bunch of like shallow boulders and the grass is all the way to the top. And I had fished it the week previous and for a couple mornings and I threw a frog, I caught a couple on a frog, but I am not kidding you when I say I, I must have had like 15 to 20 like short strikes on a frog. Um, so I'm, I'm like, man, you can't throw a hard bait top water because the grass is all the way to the surface. Um, you could throw a swim bait. I got a couple hits on the swim bait, but they weren't really eating that the way they should have. So finally, I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to bring a fluke out there to catch these god dang schooling fish. That's the one I'm using right there. This one and another one that looks real similar to it, like without the black flake, basically. And it's a little more white. Um, but man, it's such a great way to, to trigger those schooling fish to commit. Uh, throwing a super fluke and just twitching it and that thing you, you don't know which way it's gonna go when you twitch it but when that thing's head pokes out the water they come up and just crush it some of the most violent freaking blow-ups man because it's just pure reaction and then once that bite fades out oh and also uh they're not just over that shallow the boulder section they were actually uh there were big clumps of hydrilla floating on the surface further down like in deeper water and those bass were sitting under those um just floating hydrilla mats and they were ambushing bait and i got several good wakes and i have one absolutely crushed the fluke which you'll see um my my gopro battery died mid fight though which is unfortunate but it wasn't a huge fish anyways but yeah once that fluke bite dies off man pick up that spro frog and you go to barton creek and they are in that fucking creek. I'm telling you. I, I missed some really big ones. I caught three. Two were pretty good. Two were like in that three and a half pound range. Um, but man, I, I'm, I had a big one come through the mat, try to get it. And that fish looked like four or five pounds. And then I jumped one off that I literally like, I couldn't fucking move her. She was huge. I don't know how big she was. I don't, I don't like to think about it, you know. Um... But yeah, this is part of the Tackle Warehouse order, uh, or the bet that me and my buddy had where we were trying to see who would get to 25 pounders first. That was the final score, 20 to 1. Not the best ratio for him. He's a good fisherman, but he's not as good as me. So uh, yeah, that bet is restarting now. So I got like $35 worth of shit on Tackle Warehouse this being one of the things i got um yeah that's that's what i'm doing y'all so stay tuned this is a pretty badass video got some sick top water blow ups in there thanks for watching guys another one Another schooling fish, y'all. Getting on a little fluke bite out here. hammered it. Fish number three.
smoked it, y'all. Oh my, that's a little bit better. Smoked it, oh my God. That's a little bit better. So much fun when they hit the fluke like a top water. That's number four. I can hook into a big one here. The only problem is if I hook into a big one with 12 pound line in this thick ass grass, it's gonna be an issue. <laughs> Yep, the fluke is the key. So you know, I've been out here uh, the last few mornings. Man, the last time I was out here, I got probably like 10 short strikes on a frog. Uh, I was able to catch a few on a frog, but they just weren't committing to it because they're so keyed in on these bait fish. So I figured if I just work this fluke over the top of their head real aggressive and real erratic, they'll get that reaction bite. And sure enough, man, it's it's been paying off, y'all. Holy smokes. Uh, smoking them on the floor. <laughs> Dude, that little quick pause, man, lethal. Lethal. Fucking fishing. It's crazy. Might be a big one. That might be a big one. That feels bigger. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> this fluke bite is fun, man. Holy moly! I figured him out. I figured him out. How big are you? A little four. A little four younder. Come here. No. Ooh, she's heavy. That's a good three and a half, though. Nice, baby. Line's getting a little bit frayed, but should still be okay. Oh, I'm tearing them up, y'all. Some good times right here. That's a monster. That's a monster. That's a monster. I'll be really lucky to get this fish out, y'all. I'll be really lucky if I land this fish. That's a big one. Come on, baby. Ease out of there, baby. Ease out of there, baby. Oh my goodness gracious, y'all. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's the problem fishing a fluke in this shit. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Big mama. Oh, big mama. Gotcha. <laughs> That's about a four pounder. That's like a high three or four pounder, y'all. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Gorgeous fish. Oh, 
you son of a gun. Look at that. <laughs> this is so much fucking fun right here. Holy crap. These fish are piled up, man. That is so much fun. Got you, buddy. I tricked you, buddy. Get up here. Get up here. Feisty. Feisty guy, eh? Feisty guy, eh? That was a monster, y'all. That was a monster. She just didn't fucking commit to it. What in the hell? God, that was a giant. Dude, I got like, I got hit so freaking good. Oh my gosh. There she is. There she is. They're out here in the middle, y'all. I've missed two monster wakes, and that one crushed it. That's a big one. Got one looking at it. Got one looking at it. Smoke the frog, y'all. Hell yeah. About a three pounder. Another one on the yellow frog, y'all, and I just missed a blow up right here, too. Back here in the creek.
spigging, spigging. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, did y'all see that shit? Fish is on top of the mat. Big, 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 big. Biggin. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Y'all, that fish was on top of the freaking grass. It got stuck on top of the grass trying to eat this thing. That's a four pounder. Size of the head on her. She's just skinny. <laughs> wow. Well, guys, that one was three pounds, nine ounces. Fish was all head. That was freaking crazy. I, I hope y'all saw that. I was working that frog on the mat. She came out after it and she actually got stuck on the mat and she was flapping her fucking her fin trying to get back in there. And then I, I just let, let it sit there and just was lightly twitching it, trying to keep it in place. And she came back and smoked it. Um, Barton looks really good right now. Like I think I'm gonna catch some more. So stay tuned y'all. This grass is looking prime. It's not as thick as it was. I think I'm gonna get into uh, maybe a couple big ones hopefully. That was a fucking giant. Oh, damn it. Ah, man, I couldn't quite connect on that last one. That mofo. Woo! She was in sparse sparse grass too so that you saw the full weight of the fish right there there wasn't any grass adding any weight to that fish that thing was a beast oh man i hate that that never uh that never gets any easier <laughs> um so yeah I'm, I'm off the next two days um so i'm gonna i'm gonna go do that same pattern man and hopefully it pays off and uh yeah appreciate y'all watching guys Till next time stay froggy